Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. And it is once again Monday, which means it is time for my Monday and I'm showing off my collections. And we are continuing on with my Nintendo Switch collection. Uh, if you missed the previous week's head on up there hit that little bell and uh, head over to the playlist and check out those previous videos um also you can hit the head on down to the subscribe button do that that'd be really helpful and i'd appreciate it a lot also hit that notification bell so you know the next time a video pops up on your screen uh and also hit that share button share it with everyone so you can know hey check out this video i just watched it check it out it's really cool you should watch it subscribe and all that fun stuff. Also hit the thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't like the video, uh, thumbs down. But head on down those comments down below and let me know what you did or didn't like about the video and talk about maybe your Nintendo Switch uh, collection or what do, what do you think about some of these games or whatever you wanna talk about, I don't care. Head on down there, let's chat it up. Uh, also, as you're on the way down there, in the description box, you can see uh, links to my blog, my Facebook, my Twitter, my podcast, as the name says uh also what a instagram whatever there's also a link if you want to get one of these nice little pads for your background from your youtube channel or just in general they're game pads too and you can, i don't know there's all sorts of stuff you can do but there's a link down there if you want to get one of those so i said last time and the time before i thought these were not for alphabetical order and then something popped out and popped in and here's one i just i don't know how it got out, out of alphabetical order but it's ghostbusters the video game remasters so this game originally came out I don't remember, maybe 10 years ago? Maybe not that long ago. Something like that. For the PS3, I think it originally was on. But then there was also a PS... I think there was a PS2 version. Yeah, so I don't know. It, it might have been a long... It might have been like 13 or 12, 13 years. I don't remember. But anyways, I never got around playing it. So I was like, when they decided to re-release it, and they put out one on the Switch, which I think it's exclusive to GameStop, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I was like, I should check that out. I've never actually played that game. I've heard basically this was Ghostbusters 3. I mean, they got everyone back uh, to do the voices and stuff. And basically the kind of the script they used was more or less kind of what Ghostbusters 3 would have been. Um, and now that Howard Ramis is no longer with us, we will never get that Ghostbusters 3. Um, there's, you know, they made the Ghostbusters the women version, which whatever. And this year, there's supposed to be a new Ghostbusters... I can't even remember what the name of it is, but it's not happening because of the stuff going on in the world right now. It got delayed until next year, I believe. But again, it didn't seem to really be connect... I mean, I don't know. Don't know. Gonna gonna delay my thoughts on that until it actually closer to coming out and actually coming out. But anyways, here's a video game. Uh, I've only dabbled in it a little bit. It seems fun. I need to give more time to actually get into it more but um yeah for good things so definitely looking forward to playing this more uh moving on we got uh another video to talk about stuff not happening because of stuff going on but uh some mario and sonic in the olympic games tokyo 2020 well there's gonna be no tokyo 2020 games 2021 i don't know if that means i have to make a new game but um i just recently picked this up on um Amazon. I believe it was Amazon. Um, seem, seems like a cool game. Cool party game, multiplayer game. It also has that cool like feature where you can go back and play 8 or 16-bit versions or whatever. That seems cool. Um, definitely looking forward to checking this out. I was kind of getting forward to playing it along with the Olympics, but um, unfortunately that's not going to happen anytime soon, so uh, I guess I'll wait, maybe. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll open that and play it, kind of, kind of fill the void for no Olympics this year. I don't know. Moving on, another Mario game. We got Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Um, I got this game for, like, super cheap when it was, like, still... I don't know, I just remember, like, Amazon was having some sort of sale, and I got it for wicked cheap. Um, I've only played it a little bit. I'm not really, like, totally into these sorts of games. Um, but they're all right, but I don't know. Uh, I should probably give this more more of a chance. Um, but it is kind of cool. That, you know, you obviously have the Mario characters, but this is obviously a Ubisoft game. And uh, there you got the Rabbids and whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. 
I should give that game more of a shot, I think, but um, it is what it is. Now, a game I've played way too much of is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's funny, though, because I never really played the Mario Kart 8 all that much on Wii U, um, which, you know, isn't saying much. Not a lot of people played a lot of stuff on Wii U. Uh, I do have a Wii U, obviously, but um, and I did have Mario Kart 8. I did play it a little bit, and I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's it's Mario Kart. It's cool. But then the Deluxe version came out for uh, Switch, and honestly, like, it's probably one of the games I've played the most on the Switch, which is weird because it's like not even a new game. It's like, yeah, here's a here's a game that was on the other system, but yeah, we did we tweaked it a little bit. Here it is, and uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna plan on doing a Mario Kart Nine anytime soon, um, but it'd be cool to get a new, a brand new Mario Kart on the Switch. Uh, I don't know when the, that's gonna happen, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool to get that. Um, next up, we have. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. Um, it's a long title for a video game. Yeah, I mean, it's a Marvel game, so I was kind of really cool into it. I never really played the first two all that much. Um, so, like, when this came on, I was like, yeah, this seems like a cool game. And it's fine. I mean, I don't say, I don't, I don't necessarily have anything wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with the game. It's just not exactly what I thought this game was. And granted, I didn't play the first two, so that's on me. Um, but it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. And um, I guess maybe I'm just not a huge fan of these type of games. Um, but I don't know. I should probably give it more of a shot. I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, I've just never gotten totally into that those type of games. Uh, but moving on. We got Max the Curse of Brotherhood. Honestly, I've only played this tiny little bit. Um, it was cheap and on Amazon, so I was like, yeah, I'd pick it up. I think it was one of the early titles for the Switch, so it's kind of like I just was looking for games to play. Because, you know, when it initially came out, there weren't a ton of games on it. Um, moving on, Mar Mega Man 11. So, for me, I've always loved the Mega Man games uh, from back in, you know, starting with the NES. i just not very good at them. <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, this one at least has a different, um, kind of different, uh, levels, um, difficulty levels, I should say. So, you know, it's got a little bit, it's a little bit easier. I mean, I just, I don't know, I always fought them, I just always really liked them, I just was never good at them. And they're, you know, obviously the ones on the NES are pretty hard, some of them are pretty hard. Um, you know, I know there was always the pattern of which guys you're supposed to go after first, and if you beat that guy, he's gonna help you with the next guy. And that was fine, but I always never knew. And then I was, you know, I always liked these games. I just was never great at them. But obviously, I had to pick up Mega Man 11. It's a cool game, though, too. I mean, definitely definitely has that old aesthetic. Um, because, you know, and we'll get into it with Mega Man, uh, Mortal Kombat, too. But there's also Mortal Kombat 11 to go to with Mega Man 11. Yes. Um, and again, I've always loved the Mortal Kombat games from way back in the game. Now, these games, the original ones, I was actually really good at. <laughs> Especially the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat. Um, I was actually really good at it. But, um... Yeah, I mean, the, you know, for unlike Mega Man, uh, unlike Mortal Kombat 11, which has obviously evolved and gone into, um, you know, you know, more current, uh, you know, all sorts of nonsense and graphically, you know, Mega Man 11 was kind of a step back in terms of the Mega Man series. Obviously, they went on to the X series and other versions of Mega Man and whatever, but then they would always kind of go back to the old roots and, you know, it's kind of cool that they did that for that game. Whereas Mega Mortal Kombat 11, they kind of just were continuing on. It's like, well, what could we do better and cooler and faster and hyper and blah, blah, blah. I mean, definitely a cool game. It's definitely out of its core still make Mortal Kombat, so it's obviously a fun game. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, you know, whenever I play it, it harkens back to the old old original Mortal Kombat and the Genesis that uh played way too much of back in the day. Next up, we got Miss Explosion Man. Now, this is another one of those games, Limited Run, I was purchasing something else and saw it and said hey this seems like it could be fun so i uh, picked it up um i don't know that there's much value on this one collectability wise um no not really uh it's like 35 40 bucks at 20 i think i got it for 30 to begin with so yeah I, I, there's not too, it's one of those games where it's like eh, it seems like a cool cool game uh, i'll grab it Next up, we got M Mutant Football League, the Dynasty version. Not to be confused with Mutant League Football, which was originally out on the Genesis back in the day. 
which uh, was a really fun game. Now, this, crazily enough and ridiculously enough, is the only football game on the Switch. Why they haven't had a Madden on the Switch, I still, for the life of me, have cannot understand it. How do you not have a Madden on the Switch? It makes no sense. EA, do you hear me? Hear me, EA? Just put a Madden on the Switch. It'll sell billions of copies. I, I don't understand. Um, but in any event, uh, so this is the only football game you're going to... I mean, it's funny. It kind of harkens back to the old days of um, the Mutant League football game and the Mutant League hockey. Now, I wish they would do a... Le no, ooh, sorry. I wish they would do a hockey version. That'd be cool. I'd definitely pick that up because there's no hockey games on Switch uh, right now. But uh, yeah, it's fun. It's goofy. It's ridiculous. But... Um, it's a football game on the Switch, so there you go. Got nothing else really to say about that. Next up, we got NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Now, I got the original NBA 2K... No, NBA Playgrounds, um, which was just a d d download. They didn't do a physical version. At least I don't think they did. Uh, and that was a fun game. Harkens back, obviously, the old NBA Jam type days. It's kind of It was kind of hard, though. I didn't love it. I thought it was cool, but it wasn't great. I don't know. It was all right. But then NBA or 2K bought the game and they did the second one version. And then they made it all about the microtransactions and unlocking stuff. And it just, I mean, the first one had some of that too. Don't get me wrong. But uh, they just overdid it in this game and just too much of that stuff. Um, still a fun game, but uh, honestly... It wasn't enough of an upgrade from the original, and it just seemed more annoying than the original. Um, but I also have NBA 2K18, of course, Kyrie Irving in a Celtics uni uniform. Didn't work out great, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, it's the first version of that they came out once the U the Switch was um, released. And interestingly enough, for some reason, the... Yeah, this is interesting. So you may notice the sticker is like this. And when I got the game, the cover was the other way. And then I opened it up and was like, wait, why is this stuff on this side? Yeah, they packaged it wrong. Like, weird. Weird, whatever. But um, there it is. Uh, yeah, NBA 2K. Good series. Uh, the, the I can't really complain about the Switch versions. Switch versions have been pretty good. Um, you know, I think the they've gotten better as it gone along, maybe. I don't know. I've only played 18. I haven't played 19 or 20. So can't really speak on that, really. But um, it's a fun game. Cool game. Uh, one of the best sports games there is on the system. FIFA's pretty good too, but uh, more into basketball than soccer, so uh, it is what it is. Alright, next up we have Namco Arcade. Uh, Namco Museum Arcade Pack. Yeah, that's a confusing and really long name. Yeah, it's got, you know, just old classic games. So I, I'm, I'm a stickler. Stickler? No. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I, I'm a fan of the old classic games. Um, you know, I got the Atari collection. I have more collections. We'll see. But yeah, so many times there's a collection of old classic games, I'm all for it. Um, Dig Dug, Galaga, Pac-Man. It's all good. It's all good. Enjoyable. Nothing nothing new or groundbreaking. Next up, also nothing new or groundbreaking for that matter, really. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Um, new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Uh, yeah, it's just a port of the Switch, uh, the Wii U version, which I have played, so like... I don't know why I picked this up, but I still, actually I haven't opened it yet. I haven't played it, but I don't know. It was like, yeah, it could be cool. I, I just wish they did a new version. Why didn't they new Super Mario Brothers Switch? They could have done it. They haven't done it. I wonder if they will do it. But um, yeah, obviously when they started up these new Super Mario Brothers games, um, kind of harking back on the old ones, I was always a fan because I always liked the old Super Mario Brothers games, obviously. Big fan. So uh, for me, yeah, I mean, uh, when they started off in the... the the DS, I think, was the first one, and then they did the Wii version, and the 3DS version, and then the Wii U version. Uh, but it'd be cool if they did a Switch version. I'm just saying, just saying. Looking for that Switch version. And finally, to wrap things up for today's video, we got Night Trap, the um, limited run version. This is just the standard version. I know they did a deluxe super version or whatever, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's Night Trap. So for anyone back in the day. Uh, Sega CD came out and had this game and everyone flipped the hell out and uh, because it was so naughty and wrong and blah 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 it's got T it's got a T for teen <laughs> this version's got a T for teen 
What they I don't know what they did to get a T for Teen as opposed to the other original version that M A seventeen and I think eventually got an M rating, but um I think more so any than anything, the it's the box art was more so than anything else. But um regardless, not a great game, but the nostalgia factor is there and this limited run they put this out and it's got a given that it's night trap and everything to do with night trap it does have a lot of value that's why it's not open because it's not a great game i don't plan on really playing it but it's uh going for like 80 83 84 bucks something like that so yeah the value on this game was more so for the collection version than the actual playing version the pl play version the pl what am i saying the collect the value there was uh, for the collection not the actual playing of the game i guess is what i'm trying to say not so eloquently saying but anyways there you go there's a bunch more games um i was gonna uh, i should have picked all right real quick um let's do an accessory uh, an accessory to, so um the nintendo switch online came along it's not great it is what it is but one of the one of the things for the Nintendo Switch Online was they give you access to uh, uh, wow some some dust is collected on this. Uh, they give you access to purchase some exclusive stuff things. Um, so when they first launched the online system, they obviously had Nintendo games you could play. So they put in a two pack of Switch Nintendo controllers. So yeah, I picked them up. I don't know. I haven't used them, haven't opened them, but uh, they seemed cool. It seemed something I'd want, so I grabbed them. So there it is. There you go. So there's one of my accessories. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Hit that subscribe again. Hit the notification, share, like, all that fun stuff. Come back next week for more of my Nintendo Switch collection. And thank you for watching.